Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now, you may notice, things are a little bit weird here. Um, I'm not responding to what I'm doing in the video. That would be because, dear friends, I'm an idiot. What I managed to do was I managed to uh, not ready my focus right the entire time I recorded. So, none of of my audio was recorded until the last like 30 seconds or so where it turns out I'm a moron so um yeah uh this video was uh it was a weird one to film because at the at the start of it I didn't want to film it uh I've been I've been having I was I started talking about it in the video but I was saying about the fact of like I think I'm starting to starting very Australian. Um, I think I'm starting to realise just how relatively naive I was into going into this venture. That's not to say I assumed I'd be an overnight sensation or an overnight even 100 viewer. Um, but I realised that through watching YouTube as long as I have and watching YouTubers as long as I have and content creators and streamers as long as I have. My instant assumption was almost that like, at least somewhere in my first 10 videos maybe, I'd get a video that would hit 100 views or so. Um, because it was, you know, a lot of the guys that I watched more recently, I, that's, what they've said, that's what they've said. And it kind of clicked for me while reading um, Chris Broad's book, Abroad in Japan that like the reason that the YouTubers that I watch now were getting those views so soon is because what they were doing was relatively niche they were doing something that a lot of people weren't doing and it it dawned on me that I don't think I quite understood the undertaking that I have committed to um, this is not an easy thing to do to get any kind of notoriety interest fame or even a, a attention or community which is what I want it's not easy to do it's very difficult and um, and yeah I I realize that like I said I think maybe I went into this a little bit naive and it was very strange because I you know I've been I've been toying around with some new things um, and I, I've, I've started to come to the realize, realization that maybe if in six months I'm still having no views on the channel at all because I'm trying multiple different things with each series I'm doing. This series is an hour long. Um, Fallout New Vegas is between 20 and 25 minutes. And then Samurai Saturday, um, my Ghost Tsushima is as long as the stream is. Because um, I wanted to test this to see if YouTube pushed any of them in particular. And I'm noticing that they're really not. Now, some of them are getting random views. Some of them are getting the occasional view. But my problem is, well, the problem is, they're getting a view for maybe 17 seconds, 18 seconds. And don't get me wrong, this isn't me complaining about me not getting views. Because this is, at the end of the day, it's it's not an easy thing to do. And to do this, you, you have to work hard. You have to put in the energy. You have to put in... You know, you have to deal with technical issues when your mic doesn't goddamn record. And you have to kind of face them with a smile and go, Well, shit, guess I'm doing this today. Um, and I'm really enjoying those issues. I'm really enjoying the, the challenges of, like, figuring out, Okay, how do I get views on my channel? And again, this isn't to be like, My my, my, my video should have all the views. Oh, I, I should be the most entertaining person on the planet. I don't think that. I think I'm very entertaining. I do think that should... Should a audience arrive, I will be able to maintain an audience because I think I am. I think I'm. I'm. I'm entertaining enough to be able to do that. Um. My issue is getting to that audience and and building to that audience. That's, I think, a far bigger undertaking than I had initially anticipated. Because the thing of like a lot of the big YouTubers you see that have come about the last year or so, two years, are kind of flash in the pan in, in, from the standpoint of like, many of them make really, really good content, 
but all it takes is like one person being interested in them and and mentioning them to to like their own fan base and they skyrocket um and it, it's a it's a case of it's you know what i'm doing it ain't different it's not different it's not unique it's not unusual but um it's it's something that i i very much sure as i've been streaming for a while what the fuck? um like I said, it's it's not it's not an easy thing, and uh, yeah, it was it, it was kind of a daunting moment to think of like, oh god, this actually is a lot harder than I thought. And I don't hate it. I'm not. I, trust me, I'm I'm vibing. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this struggle. But I think in six months' time, should there still be a struggle, I think maybe it'll be time to reevaluate what I'm or how I'm making. Maybe not what I'm making, but how I'm making things. And and yeah, it's 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 a difficult thing to to comprehend. It's a difficult thing to wrap your head around as the person making the content. That like, hey, most of the time you'll tell yourself your your content's not good enough. Your content's not good enough. Good. I think my content is good enough, but I think my problem is I am just one piece of content in a veritable ocean of even the content in my local area. Like, the amount of content is obscene. So it's, it's a thing of, like, it's a struggle I want to commit to and a struggle I want to try and, and a, a struggle I want to go through. But realistically, it's it's not easy. Um, but, like, that realization kind of through talking through it, it made me feel more comfortable and, and feel better. And I think this is the first, like, real kind of, like... It's what a lot of, like, big YouTubers have said, that, like, this is the issue that, you, that YouTubers face now, is burnout immediately. Is putting all your heart and soul into something just to get no views. Um, and be like, well, fuck this, I don't want to do this. I, I'm still going to do this no matter what, because I like doing it. I, it, I, it entertains me. It gives, you know... I mean, I'm already going to talk to myself while playing my games. I may as well do it with an audience if one appears. But... It was... Uh, voicing this concern, I think, helped me realise that, like, this is just part of doing this. Like, this is part of... of... of uploading stuff on the internet. It's just part of it. And, and then, like, and also... Recently, I've been going... I've been watching the um i've been watching the the, uh, the docu series like the youtube doc series on christian which is a terrifying like that poor person just had no chance like, they had no hope realistically no like it, all they needed was just one person to genuinely love them and 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 kind of not let them have their way to fix them so to speak it, it's a very sad story and just no one ever no no one is good in the story like it, it every time you start feeling sorry for 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 them you they do something even more insane just like i can't feel sorry for you and it's sad um but it's but it's through watching that i realize like there's a strange futility to youtube and content creation. There's a strange futility from the standpoint of you are expecting the universe to rain attention down on you. That is up until, you know, the 21st century has been selectively handed out. And now you expect it to just be handed to you and for everyone to love you and enjoy you. And I think that through watching Chris or Christina's slow devolution into insanity, because that's where they're at now, they're insane. It, it's it's this heartbreaking thing of going like that's what 
that's what doing this can do to you. Now, obviously, for them, it was a far more extreme case. It, you know, they are very abused um, throughout their entire life. Um, but it did make me realize, I'm like, if you put your heart and soul into this and you get nothing in return, you will lose your mind. Because realistically, that's what happened with them, is they put their heart and soul on what they thought was amazing and got nothing but hate and, and, and disinterest and lack of care. And to be honest, at this point, I take the hate. I just take any kind of comment. So it's it's been an, it's an interesting dichotomy of like trying to trying to pass through that uneasy feeling that it seems like every creator that has gone on to amazing things, big things, has gone through of just like hitting that wall of just like what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And you know, like I said, the videos are getting views. Like some of them are getting random views, and I think they're being brought in by the YouTube Shorts. Uh, and I'm experimenting with shorts, I'm experimenting with TikTok, and it's slowly, they are getting attention. But my main problem I'm noticing is I'm not getting conversion from those views into subscribers or, or followers. And that's not a problem, that's, you know, you don't have to follow everything you watch if you don't want to. Um, like, if it's not to your liking, don't follow. But... It's, it's the thing of seeing pe like seeing likes on something and knowing that people are like, oh, I enjoy this, but not being able to grab them enough for them to go, oh, I'm going to subscribe. I mean, I gained three subscribers on YouTube from doing this, from my shorts. So I think there's a chance that this can work. I just need to have the confidence of like, even in those moments of like, well, things aren't going well. I can always introduce something new. You know, like, uh, I had a friend of mine over yesterday, and that's, like, where we really got into Chris Chan conversation. Um, and, like, and, and just through talking with him, it's I wanted to do what every white guy wants to do and make a nerd podcast. But it's the thing, if I don't want to do that too soon, I want to do it later down the line when I'm like, oh, this is the rhythm I'm in. I'm now in a comfortable rhythm. Now I can start focusing on expanding my what I'm doing. So it was, it's, it's... It's an interesting struggle to be going through. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to at least record something here to be like, hey, this is why there's no audio for this, and then suddenly at the very end, there's gonna be like audio of like of me going, oh, what the, what? no. So uh, yeah, and I just wanted to talk about about my more negative feelings, than that. just like how my how I'm I'm feeling in regards to what I'm doing. And how I, how I feel like I don't have an option as to how I make an impact. I am being told to wait, effectively. And as someone like me, I have a terrible, terrible, I have terrible patience. So like, we'll see. We'll, we'll see where this goes, and hopefully it does go somewhere entertaining. And hopefully you'll see more things from me, and one day I'll be able to look back on this. Back on this at like some point when I'm older and go like I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. But um Yeah. If you like this you know, this ramble, this total waffle, go ahead and consider subscribing. Consider liking. Um Yeah. Uh hope wherever you are you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or evening, or generally what hell of a day. And I will leave you in the capable hands, not so capable evidently, because I forgot to record my goddamn audio, of my gameplay and these lo-fi beats to relax to while just this plays in the background. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.